हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विद अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एसक्यूएल प्रॉब्लम सो रिसेंटली आई हैव पोस्टेड दिस प्रॉब्लम ऑन माय इंस्टाग्राम चैनल सो वन ऑफ द नमस्ते एसक्यूएल स्टूडेंट हु वाज पार्ट ऑफ द कम्युनिटी आज दिस क्वेश्चन सो आई हैव पुट इट ऑन द नमस्ते एसक्यूएल इंस्टाग्राम पेज इफ यू आर नॉट फॉलोइंग इंस्टाग्राम पेज प्लीज डू फॉलो आई पुट लॉट ऑफ गुड एसक्यूएल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस व्हिच यू कैन प्रैक्टिस ऑन डेली बेसिस I have already put 30 to 40 questions, so you can go ahead and practice those questions. This is my Insta handle, Namaste as well. Okay, so today we are going to discuss very interesting problem. So we have a table, right? We have a table called clocked hours, right? So we have the employee ID, swipe, swipe time, and flag. So there are two kinds of flag: punch in flag and punch out flag. So we have to find total clocked hours by each employee. Now the problem here is one employee can do punch in punch out multiple times. So for example, this guy did at eight thirty and logged off punch out at ten thirty. So basically two hours, right? But again he punched it at eleven thirty and then punched out at three thirty, right? So again four hours. So total it will be six hours, right? So for this employee triple one four total hours clocked hours will be six. And for this, it will be eight hours directly. There is only one punch in, punch out, right? So this is the problem. We are going to solve it using two methods, right? Like always, normal method and Mentos method, right? Arm zindagi, Mentos zindagi. Okay. So let's start. So first of all, what we need, what we need is we need to find out that for each punch in which which is the corresponding punch out right for each punch in what is the corresponding punch out if we know that then we can subtract these two hours and get the difference and then aggregate the value so 2 hours plus 4 hours will be 6 hours right so for what we will do first we will find a row number okay i'll tell you how so let's take it here okay what i will do i will say row underscore number over now what i want for each employee and each flag i create a row number right which means if i say row number over partition by emp id flag right so what i am doing i am doing a group by or partition by on flag and employee id so this will fall in one group this will fall in one partition right these two will fall in one partition which means this guy will get row number 1 and this guy will get row number 2 right similarly similarly this guy and this guy these two rows will fall in the same partition right partition by employee id and flag right so this will get row number 1 and row number 2 okay and i'll show you how it will help me so i will say order by and i am doing swipe okay as let's say rn okay and let me show you the output okay so if you see these two rows right flag is the both input these are in same group same partition so rank 1 2 and these are in same group so rank 1 2 now this one and this one if you see for same employee id the row number ones right are the corresponding swipe in and swipe out right because the first swipe in will be the and the corresponding swipe out will be the first one only right so this row number 1 and row number 1 for same employee represents one transaction means first swipe in first swipe out similarly this is second swipe in right and this is second swipe out correct so now what i can do what i will do i will group my data based on employee id and row number so that this guy and this guy will become one group now and i can find the difference okay so i'll show you quickly so what i'll do with cts okay with cts 
I will just select from city, right? And I will say uh, employee ID. We copy it. Mm, let me increase a little bit. Okay. Group by employee ID. And I, I want to do group by on row number as well, right? And then I'll take these two things. Correct. Employee ID R N, and I will take minimum of swipe as swipe in. Right. And maximum of swipe as swipe out. Correct. Let me run this and show you how it is going to help me. So if you see employee ID triple one four row number one, right? If you see swipe in and swipe out. So I am getting that first swipe in is 830 and swipe out is 1030. Right? Right? For triple one four, this is the second transaction. Right? Swipe in at 1113, swipe out at 330. This guy has only one swipe in, one swipe out. Right? So we got in each transaction, so we are uh, uh, telling a transaction is from between first swipe in and first swipe out. Similarly, second swipe in and second swipe out, right? So this is the first transaction in this. This guy is doing two hours. In this, this guy is doing four hours. So now we can find the difference between these hours. So I will use date diff function. Date diff we want in hours, right? And between minimum swipe and maximum swipe as clogged in hours right so i tell max right and if i run this now you will see two hours four hours now what i can do i can just group on employee id now and add these hours and that will be give me the answer right this is my first method let me quickly finalize the output so I will say CT2 as this and select from CT2 group by EMPDID, PDID, comma, clocked in hours, sum of clocked in hours as clocked in hours, right? So this is my final query. And if you see, we have got the required output. Okay. I hope this is clear. This is my first method. Second method will be Mentos method. Before I go there, I want to tell you on coming Saturday, I, I'm starting Python for data analytics course. So if you are interested, you can, you can still register for it. Currently, uh, the sale is going on a new year sale. So you can get 33% off. This is from very basic. I will start no prerequisite required. It will, the classes will be on Saturday, Sunday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., right? It will go on for five to six weeks and we will start from very basics. You can see the curriculum on the website. I will put the link in the pinned comment and the description box. So do check out and you can register uh, in next two days to get this offer. Okay. So coming back to the problem, coming back to the problem, let's solve it with the mentor Zindagi. Okay. So what we will do, let's look at it again. Um, let me take clogged hours. Okay. Select star from clogged hours, right? So this will be a simpler solution if you see. Now what I will do that one thing I know that the first in and first out, right? will be next to each other always if I sort by swipe time. So if I say order by EMPDID comma swipe. Okay. So if I run this query, if I run this query, so for this employee, right? First transaction is swipe in and immediate next will be swipe out of it. Again, this is swipe in immediate next will be swipe out of it. This is swipe in and immediate next would be swipe out of it. So every two rows is one transaction, right? Every two rows is one transaction. So what we can do, 
we can also make use of this thing that if i take lead right if i if i'm on this row and if i take the swipe of next row right so that will be the swipe out of this swipe in right right so uh, let me write the query and then it will be clear so i'll say lead i'm using lead function lead of what swipe i want by one right by one means next row if i do two so if i do one the next lead of this will be this sorry this 10 30 if i do lead swipe of two then for this row the lead will be this but i want immediate next row right again over partition by empd id comma comma i want uh, what else i want i want partition by empd id that's it right i don't want any other any other uh, partition by right and order by swipe right so we are assuming that the so we are not using this flag at all because the assumption is that first will be the punch in swipe then immediately punch out then punch in then punch out then punch in then punch out right so we are not using this flag in this query so i'll say order by swipe as next punch okay let's let's call it next punch okay and if i run this or next swipe we have swipe and this will be next swipe so if i run this now you will see for 830 next swipe is 1030 right now this we don't need so this is wrong i mean this is of no value right because this is my swipe out and this is the next swipe in right so this row will be of no use because we got the swipe in and swipe out time for the first transaction right similarly this one right we got the swipe in and swipe out time so only the i flag i need now now i will use this flag that i want only wherever there is a i right punch in time punch in flag right similarly for this one i have the next swipe which will be the swipe out time actually we should call it swipe out right swipe out time right so what i will do now let's call it again ct with ct as this is not required i will say select star from ct where flag equal to i right so if i done this so if i done this you see i got the swipe in and swipe out time right so this is swipe in swipe out swipe in swipe out right now i can just use the same query right so i will say date diff date dip between swipe so i want an hour again and then swipe is my swipe in and then i have swipe out time right as clogged in time right and let me run this uh, there is some other invalid column swipe out time uh, swipe out time okay this should be as okay spelling mistake okay we are good now okay so i got two hours four hours again i can just aggregate it so what i can do here only i can do i'll say empd id right comma sum of sum of this right for each employee id i want this sum so i'll just say this and group by empd id okay so this should give me the same result you see six hours and eight hours okay i hope it makes sense let me know if you have a better solution or the easier solution or any other solution to solve this problem i will check out in the comment section do like my videos guys it will help me to grow my channel and put more content as it motivates me uh, thanks for watching have a great day